Here we have a sphere, and this is called a spherical cap. And we want to find the bottom of the spherical cap. And so the sphere has the radius, a bar. And let's call the height of the spherical cap, let it be h. And we want to find the volume of this spherical cap. And so the distance from here to here is h. And so from the base of the cap to the uh, top of the sphere here is h. The radius of the sphere is r. And therefore the distance from here, from the center to the base of the cap, would be r minus h. And so the distance from here to here is r minus h. This point will be r comma zero. And so we need this point right here in order to find the uh, volume of this cap. And so at this point right here, the y would be r minus h because the distance from here to here is r minus h. And so this point right here has a y coordinate of r minus h. So we need the corresponding x coordinate. The, uh, this circle right here, the equation of the circle is x, square, x squared minus, uh, plus y squared equal to r squared. So that's the equation of the circle. And if we solve this equation for x, then we get x to be the square root of uh, r squared minus y squared. And then if we solve this equation for y, then we get y to be r squared minus uh, x squared. And we'll need both. But right now we need the, coord the x coordinate of this point right here on this circle. And so once again, the y coordinate of this point is r minus h. And so to get the x coordinate, we just let y be r minus h. And so we have uh, y is r minus h. Then x, x is the square root of y square minus uh, the square root of y of r square minus y squared. And so we get r square minus in the place of y we have r minus h, and then r minus h square this r square minus two r h plus h squared, and then r square minus r squared is zero. And so what's left is just 2rh minus h squared. And so this point right here, the x coordinate will be the square root of 2rh minus h squared. The y coordinate will be the uh, will be r minus h. And then we want the volume of this cap. And so we will use the disk method to get the volume of this disk. And so here's a uh, here's a here's a representative disk of the uh, of the of one disk one disk. And so if we revolve this rectangle right here around the y-axis, then we get a disk. And then we will have many disks, and the disk will range from uh, here up to here. And so if we look at this rectangle representing one disk. The, here's the, the width of the rectangle would be some dy, and then the height or the radius of the disk would be some x distance. And so the volume of the uh, cap will be uh, pi times uh, r, r of y squared times dy. And then we will go from here up to here. But right here, this is r minus h, and this is r. And so the lower limit of integration will be r minus h, and then the upper limit of integration will be uh, r. And then the radius of the disk will be some x distant. But record an x is the square root of r squared minus y squared. And so in the place of the radius, we will have the square root of r squared minus y squared. So this is pi 
and recorded uh, the disc is nothing more than a uh, when we revolve this uh, rectangle right here around the wide axis then we get a disc and the disc is in the shape of a cylinder and the volume of a cylinder is pi times the square of the radius times the height of the uh, the cylinder so this is pi this is the, the radius and then square and then this is the uh, the height of the disc this is the height of the disc right here and this is the radius of the disc and we uh, want this to range from the the y will range from uh, r minus h up to r and so this is the volume of the cap using the disc method one more time this is pi this is the radius square and this is the height of the disc and then when we square this then we just get uh, square root square then we get just get r square minus y square this is the constant r square and we're integrating with respect to y so we get r square times y and then this is y square so the entire derivative will be y to the third dividing by three and then we need to evaluate from r minus h up to r So that would be for the upper limit of integration, and this would be for the lower limit of integration. So here, uh, the upper limit of integration is r, so in the place of y, we have r. And then the uh, lower limit of integration, we have r minus h. And then now we just need to simplify. So this will be r to the uh, third. And this will be one third. r to the third. And then over here we get uh, r squared times r, which is r to the uh, third. And then minus r square times h and then right here we can write this as one third so this is one third and then uh, r minus h to the third and then we expand it we get r to the third minus three r square h and then plus 3RH square and then minus H to the third. This is 1R to the third. And then uh, we forgot to get the pi here, so let's go back and get the pi. This is 1R to the third minus one third. So one minus a third is two thirds. And then uh, here we have negative one third R to the third. And 
then uh, minus the third times uh, negative three will be positive, positive r square h. And then uh, minus the third times three will be negative r h squared. And then last we get the positive one third h to the third. And so from here we can see that the minus r square h plus r square h, that will be zero. And then this is one r to the third minus one third r to the third. So one minus one third will be two thirds r to the third. And then we have minus r h square plus one third h to the third. So again, the minus r square plus r square minus r square h plus r square h, that's going to be zero. And then this is one r to the third minus one third, which is two thirds. And then multiply everything by pi, so we get negative two thirds pi r to the third, and then plus pi r h squared, and then minus one third. pi times h to the third, and then this is two-thirds pi r to the third minus two-thirds pi r to the third, so this will be zero, and so what's left? It's just pi r h square minus one-third pi, uh, one-third times pi times h to the third, and then we can leave the formula like this, but um, sometimes the formula is written like this. So we do uh, one-third pi h squared times uh, 3r, then we'll get this. And then if we do one-third times pi h squared times h, then we'll get this part. So this is the uh, volume of the uh, spherical cap. Of this spherical cap right here. And h is the uh, height of the cap. And then r, r is the radius of the sphere.